Hi everyone, it's Bob here from Insidium. This is Top Tip Tuesday. Now, on today's video, we're going to be looking at some advanced emission controls. So we'll do that by looking inside the XP emitter and we'll be controlling particle radius, particle speed, even the offset of particles from the surface of the object, all using textures. So let's start Cinema 4D and we'll begin. In our scene then we have an XP emitter, if we go to the object tab we're emitting from this scene plane and in the emission mode we've got it set to simulate, we have a random shot, 30,000 particles, 3 centimeters radius with no speed and we're displaying them as spheres. Now uh, what we want to do is start exploring some of the advanced emission modes using shaders. So in our material, let's just open it up, so this is a standard material, we have just the luminance channel active with nothing in it at the moment. So let's just go to texture, noise, click on the noise settings, let's change it from noise to something like Luca which is a bit more interesting, let's put this global scale to 300% and maybe let's just add a bit of contrast so we've got some darker and lighter colours and then um, put the octaves up and where is our seed, let's just change a couple of seeds till we get something that we like the look of, something like that looks good, okay now I'll close this down. So what we're going to do is emit particles based on this um, shader in this material. So let's go to our emitter object tab and instead of emitting from the polygon center we're going to emit from texture which then reveals this new texture tab here. So let's click on it. It says which texture tag do you want to reference? So let's drag in the appropriate one and we're just going to put everything onto none. So at the moment it's not using anything um, in that material. So first we'll look at the emit channel, where are we emitting particles from? We want to reference the luminance channel because that's the only channel that we've got kind of active shaders in, just this luminance one, so this is what we need to select, luminance. So let's go to our emitter and in the emit channel we'll pick luminance and as soon as we do that, yeah look, we're only emitting particles from the lighter particles, these black areas have got none and if we want to refine this threshold we can just go to the emitter and look we can increase the contrast which means that only the really really bright ones are now going to be emitting those particles, okay? So let's just take that off. We're not actually going to use the emit, so let's switch that off. Um, the colour channel, we can colour our particles according to that shader, let's do that. So let's change it from non to luminance, yep, and now all our particles are uh, the appropriate colour. Now these are the cool um, effects though that we haven't looked at so much in top tips. Radius can be driven by these colours. How do we do it? Well look, let's go to the radius and select luminance nothing happens, they're all exactly the same and that's because we need to give it a range of radius values to work within and we do that by going to the emission tab and just giving the radius some variation so look, let's give them a radius of 2 with a variation of 1.5 and yeah that's working, let's make this more obvious just for now, we'll put a radius of 10 with a variation of 9 and yes you can see look the light particles have the full radius so 10 plus 9 and the dark particles have the smallest radius 10 minus 9 and the grey somewhere in between. Brilliant so we can drive the radius using this shader. Let's put that back down to 2 and 1.5 and let's increase the amount of particles, let's put it up to 50,000. Cool. Back to our emitter, object tab. Let's do the same thing with speed, look we can give it speed, so let's reference the luminance channel for speed, let's go back to the emission tab, give it some speed to play with, so maybe 20 with 15 variation, hit play, and yeah look the light particles are moving faster than the darker ones, pretty cool effect. Let's get rid of all that speed because we won't use that, let's go back to the object and just switch speed off. And now offset is another really good one for getting a kind of a topological look. So in the offset channel, let's go and put this on luminance, nothing happens, that's because we haven't got that offset range set yet. To do that let's go to the emitter tab and offset origin, look if we increase this, the lighter particles are being offset more than the darker particles and that gives this really nice look and the higher particle count the cooler this looks. 
It doesn't quite look right now, though, that our white particles have the biggest radius value and are the highest up. So let's go back to our texture tag. In the radius, let's just turn that off. So now they're just getting a random radius value. And maybe let's go to the emission and put that radius down to 1.5 with a variation of 1.3. Very cool. And then look, let's just bump this up hugely. 10,000, 100,000 particles. And there we are. We're getting this really nice, cool, detailed, topological emission, full control over that, all driven by our Cinema 4D shaders, which are being referenced from that material.